Okay, so we're going to be working through resizing an image for particular purposes. So there's a document here um, with some resize um, properties on it. And let's just say that this is a client who said to us, okay, we need to use this photo in a number of different places. For print, we need it on a billboard, two meters by four meters, a poster A1, which is 594 millimeters by 841, a flyer, DL, which is kind of like an envelope size, 110 by 220. And then for devices, we need a skyscraper web advert, 120 pixels by 600, phone wallpaper, 900 by 1600, and then Instagram advert, 1080 by 1080. So this is the image that we have. Um, so the first thing we need to do is find out what are we working with here? How many pixels do we have? So I'm going to go to image image size and you'll see that this image is 5504 pixels by 6880 now remember that if we turn off resampling that means that we are working with just the pixels that we have and we are not adding any pixels or subtracting pixels so if I was to for example for print change the resolution to 300 which is the standard for print. I can only print this at 46 centimeters by 58 centimeters, which is still actually pretty big. Um, but um, that's my limitation without resampling. In other words, without changing that number of pixels wide and number of pixels high. So I need to figure some things out here. So let's start with, um, with the easy one, which is the DL flyer. So over here, I've got 110 millimeters by 220 millimeters. So if I switch back here and I go to my image size dialog box and I change it to millimeters and I type in 110 by 220 at 300 pixels per inch, you can see that um, that the dimensions are well within the range of the pixels that I have available but the aspect ratio is wrong so I can't have 110 by 220 unless I unlock here and I change 110 here which means now the image is squished so these are some of the things that you face when you are working with um, different requirements for an image because some of them might be portraits some of them might be landscape and various settings so what I recommend when you're working with the sizing of images is to not use your image size dialog box but to rather use your crop tool so if I go to the crop tool now you're going to learn how to use the crop tool properly in a later um, activity but at the moment if I just use the crop tool and I go up here and I say width height and resolution or W H resolution I can actually enter exactly what I want here. So I can say pixels per inch, 300, which is standard for print, 110 millimeters by 220. And so it's actually showing me exactly the correct ratio and exactly the right dimensions that I need there. Now all I need to do is to drag the image so that I get a nice crop okay well you want to be careful of of going down or up because you're going to end up with some white space there okay so that's actually a pretty nice um, size and crop so I'm just going to press enter and then enter again and if I press command or control one this is the actual size of the image and okay my cropping wasn't so lacquer at the bottom here but that's okay um, it's, this is only an example so when you do it make sure you crop properly at the bottom so this is now ready for um, for print the only thing that I haven't done is converted it to CMYK from RGB because RGB color so you can see up here it says RGB is for, for devices and screens and digital images 
CMYK is for print, so we need to convert this image. So I'm going to go image mode CMYK color. Now I can save it. So file, save as, and I'm going to just make a new folder called uh, image sizes, and I'm going to call this one DL. And I'll save it as a JPG. You could save it as a PNG um, or a TIFF if it's for print, but I'm going to make keep this simple, stick to JPG, save, make sure it's at maximum quality, and OK. So that one is done. Now what you do not want to do is then use this image to resize for other outputs because you will get a gradual degre degradation in the image. You want to close this image and open up the original and there's the file jump and then you want to do the next one so what I'm going to do to save me having to do this every time is I'm just going to duplicate this so image duplicate okay so I've got two copies and then I've always got one to go back to so now we need to do the poster which is um, 594 by 481 so let's have a look at that so the crop tool and we're going to do um, can't remember uh, 594 by 841 so 594 millimeters make sure it says millimeters by 841 841 and ooh, I did something wrong there uh, just escape out of there and undo let's try that again 594 by 841 at 300 pixels per inch now it's a poster so actually you don't really have to go as high as 300 pixels per inch because people don't stand at a poster the same distance they do from a magazine so you could go down to half that so I'm gonna say 150 pixels per inch okay so now I've got an image if I just check it so image image size I can see that the number of pixels is still within that range of our original image. So our original image, that's this one here, was 5,000 by 6,000 roughly. And this one is 3.5 by nearly 5,000. So we're still within that range, so we're not resampling up, which is important. We're not losing definition in the image. Okay, so this one we're going to save, and remember it's for print, so CMYK, although you need to speak to your printer because sometimes they'll be doing, doing digital printing, which means they might not need it to be CMYK, but if it's LIFO printing, they will need it to be CMYK. File, save as, and we're going to go to image sizes, and this is A1, and I'll leave it as a JPG, and save it okay so that one's done close it okay so i'm going to uh duplicate again and we're going to look at the final which is the uh the final print version which is the poster which is two meters by four meters so again to the crop tool and um two meters is 200 centimeters so you need to make sure you type cm by 400 centimeters now if we go 300 pixels per inch that's way too big a resolution because it's a billboard and because people are not viewing a billboard at normal reading distance like a magazine they're going to view it from 20 or 30 meters away probably even more which means you can go way down with your resolution because if we if we made this 200 by 400 centimeters at 300 pixels per inch it would be a massive image and very unwieldy for us to uh, be able to control so we can go right down so we went down to 150 for the poster we can actually go down to about 50 for a billboard and um, let's just see what we get with that so um, remember the original image image size is five and a half by nearly seven thousand pixels now at 50 pixels per inch a two by four meter billboard is 
nearly 4,000 by nearly 8,000. So even though we have added a few pixels to the height, about a thousand pixels, it's not that bad. Um, so um, we can live with it. What you don't want is you don't want to be sizing it so that you're adding so many pixels that Photoshop is actually going to uh, not be able to reproduce the image faithfully. So here it's done a pretty good job. So that's acceptable and the 50 pixels per inch is quite fine for a billboard. So I'm just going to save this. Uh, make sure CMYK. Save as and this will be billboard. close that and now we are going to move on to the digital or device one so duplicate and this one's going to be a skyscraper web advert so 120 by 600 so let's go into the crop tool and this time we're working in pixels so 120 px by my memory is not so good 600 600 px and you don't have to worry about the pixels per inch i'm just going to put it to 72 because remember it's only important for print and then you need to just drag to get a good view so i guess i guess that would be acceptable enter enter and that is our skyscraper banner for a website so file Save as. This time we leave it as RGB because it's digital and we'll just say skyscraper. Okay, and then back to this image, duplicate again. And now we're doing the phone wallpaper. So all, all phones have different screen sizes, but a good average size is 900 by 1600. So we'll go into our crop tool. 900 pixels by 1600 pixels at 72 pixels per inch that all looks good enter enter okay and file save as and this will be phone wallpaper and then finally so that one's done finally we're going to go to the last one which is an Instagram advert 1080 by 1080 so 1080 by 1080 and we need to move this so that it has a good crop and then enter enter so that's our Instagram advert file save as and let's just call that Instagram Okay, so you can see how you can use the crop tool to get exactly what you want. Just keep an eye on the number of pixels because uh, remember that um, if you have to sample up and increase the number of pixels, you are going to end up with a slight deterioration in the image quality. So here we have our A1, so that's CMYK, our, which one is this? This is the billboard the DL envelope, the phone wallpaper, skyscraper banner, and I think I saved the um, Instagram into the original folder. Let's just find it here. There it is. Okay, I'm just going to move that out onto my desktop. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Uh, please subscribe to my YouTube channel and see you next time.